The Human Development Index of 2017 approximates Kenya's youth unemployment to be at 40%, with entrepreneurship becoming the best option to formal employment. The biggest problems that we face today as Kenyans is youth unemployment. It has been estimated that around 40% of young people in Kenya today lack employment, especially white collar jobs. The biggest impediment, however, to young startup entrepreneurs is capital. The internet provides a unique platform where young people can create business profiles, develop brands, market, advertise and complete sales with online and mobile money transactions at minimal to zero cost. While Kenya's mobile penetration is at 84% according to Communications Authority's latest 2018 report and Kenya tops in phone internet traffic globally, Google has approximated that only 10% of Kenyan's small and medium-sized businesses are online. InfoAge Concern aims to enable youth with business ideas, gain skills and knowledge to make the quick and easy transformation from running purely offline and physical businesses to digital or online enterprise. Around 70% of young people can actually access uh, smartphones or go to the cyber and access the internet through some commercial um, payment options. However, these young people spend their time online doing things like listening to music or just watching movies or even just chatting with friends or sometimes strangers. The same time and the same amount of money can actually be converted to income generation. This can be done through development of skills around the online space so that young people can actually know how to use online resources to generate income. The youth in Kenya risk being used for violence and other antisocial behavior, thereby exacerbating insecurity in the country. They also risk recruitment and radicalization by extremist groups for lack of employment opportunities. These same young people spend an average of six hours a day online, browsing social media, where hate and hate speech can influence their offline actions. With the right knowledge and skills, this time can be spent online, innovating and transacting profitable business deals. InfoAge Concern is a non-profit organization with an objective to refocus information technology and innovation for the good by providing training and professional skills development in mitigation of negative impacts of the internet and technology use. Our mission is to impart 21st century skills among youth by promoting the internet as a safe resource for startup entrepreneurs in Kenya through our Digital Skills for Entrepreneurs program, which targets young people between the ages of 15 and 35 years to equip them with knowledge and skills that will enable them to use the internet as a resource for entrepreneurship to fast track their transition to economic viability. We endeavor to graduate cohorts of young people who can turn their vocational skills to profitability by using internet technology as a safe resource for startup entrepreneurship. You no longer need to have huge capital investment to do a business. You don't have to have a physical location to run a business. Any young person can turn to the online space and convert it into a resourceful space where they can run a business and start making money. This, of course, can go a long way in changing the social structure of this country so that young people can actually become people who are generating income and living livelihoods that are beneficial to them and their families. The program runs for six weeks in the training institution. There are 13 modules taught through a one hour a day session with two hour practical sessions each week. These 
run concurrently with regular vocational training and are a value addition to vocational skills development in the country. We have been here for five to six, five to six weeks and the experience has been quite good. So this program has been mainly to, to mentor and encourage the girls to engage themselves in businesses online. For example, in this institution, we have so many girls who have, who have children, so they have to attend to their children, they have to come to school, and they also have other businesses to attend to, so they lack time to engage in businesses. So online has been an easy way for them to engage in business because they don't have to walk around or attend or go to a stall to operate their shop. They can just promote, they can just post their product online and from there they can get their customers. InfoAid Concern offers the training using graduate facilitators from local universities and a training module. We had an awesome experience. We had to um, interact with so many different people and make them learn so many different things about, um, about how to use the internet to benefit them. So you find that um, in most cases we have phones, we have um, laptops, computers and smartphones that can uh, help us access internet. But most of the time we find ourselves wasting so much time on this. So um, we are here to find, I mean to teach people ways at which they can um, maximize on time, maximize on how to use internet in the best way possible. We support infrastructure by providing mobile internet or portable Wi-Fi during the lesson. Yeah, I actually enjoyed the training of InfoAge. In fact, I enjoyed the bundles that they offered to us. It was actually fun. It has changed my perspective of how to open up my own business. Before I didn't know that I could use my phone through the internet to open up my business instead of looking for capital or a place to open shop. For now I can just open a page on my phone and my business is open to everyone. The institution provides space for the training, time on the timetable, the student beneficiary and ensures that there is electricity. One of the surprising findings we have um, gotten from this activity is that up to 70% of these young people who are undertaking technical skills development have access to smartphones. However, only 13% of them have ever attempted to do business online. So it is now that we have brought them into the realization that owning a smartphone is actually owning a mobile office. You can use that smartphone to start doing your business from home, from school or from anywhere that you may be. And you can actually reach out to millions of people at a time because you know the internet is, is a global arena where anyone can play. So you have a customer base that is unlimited. I enjoyed our training very much. The trainers were very sociable, they were friendly and it was a very interactive class. I used just to do business around my local area but now I got the idea that I can reach for higher market like outside Nairobi and abroad. And we also made a group with my friends. Now we can post our business at the internet. I, I, I placed my page for the commodities I sell. Now people can buy it from different places. Before they just used to come and buy from me. Uh, my profits are a bit higher and also my, my business is becoming more more efficient, doing my business has become more efficient but than before. I had no business exactly, but the minute Info Edge came into our institution, at least I knew more about business. I started thinking wide and thought of starting up a business. They started introducing us by opening up a Facebook page of which they helped us. And for me, I had so much passion in fashion and I decided on opening a page known as African Attires, which deals only with African clothes. It has been so well done because students have started uh, doing business online and even that perception of uh, so much on the social media, uh, they, they have been able to move out of it a little bit. Uh, they have been able to start the uh, business skills online which uh, has greatly uh, done a lot to our students.
who now can be able to do business online and be able at least to earn something small from their mobile phones.